what you're seeing is the overall dissolution of all of the chaos, meaning that when the religions have proven themselves not to work because of their affiliations, when the governments were showing themselves not to lead because of their own moral bearing and their own vision of what they can and cannot achieve, when all of that comes to pieces, when the systems of curriculum fall as far as their 12 and 18 year structures to six months or seven months in certain uh, types of environments that are embedded with knowledge, crystals, information that can give people the energy. When the organic grid comes alive again, this means that the earth has a grid system, just like what you see in Chinese acupuncture chart. When that grid is reactivated by the individuals organically standing in line, meaning that they will get, human, humanity will come online and each individual, it won't be everyone at first, but individuals will hold the energy by proxy. What does this mean? If you can hold a certain kind of current, it radiates from you. You become human orgone, brightening the environment, and then you are holding that, that field up to your strength and degree, and then when you're, the, max, the uh, magnitude of your strength and degree, when it decreases, there is another individual there to pick it up from there. So this means that the whole goal of life, according to the Tibetans, was to project your magnetic body beyond your physical body, meaning that you wanted to grow your soul so that it was bigger than your physical body. So you have people here on this planet that they're graduated souls, like your grandmother, she's so sweet, so kind, she can tolerate anything. These are large souls, right? And so they hold large territories. Many of them, of course, have been damaged and peltered and put in the financial system and they're stressed out, medication, etc. But when you bring them back online, to understand that they're not online right now because of that, then they radiate this energy that connects and this field, when connecting completely, becomes a source of perpetual energy that all human beings can draw from. Very similar to the Viril, the Purana, Prana, the Kundalini, those kind of energies, the earth energies that they've been speaking of. This is what activates that field. And I'll tell you that this knowledge you can find anywhere. If you really know physics, you'll find it there. If you really know math, you'll find it there. If you know metaphysics, you'll definitely find it there. But finding it and activating it is two different things. And that this is what we're talking about, Lance. We're talking about that we have to stand online because we're just holding ourselves up. Meaning that we can be doing magnificent things. I've already seen it. I've already experienced it. The reason why I'm here so fervently talking about it is not because I have time to waste. There's nothing that I really need. It's just that it, you can't hold it all on your own. It's too much energy. I was laughed at. I said, see, that was the, that's the thing. If you eyes all don't come together, then you can't even hold energy. One man cannot hold this energy. One woman cannot hold this energy. It drives them nuts. It go, they go into Babylonian syndrome, Kundalini syndrome, Jerusalem syndrome. And, you, and you've seen this occur with individuals around you. They alienate themselves from everyone. Everyone's evil now. Everyone's the devil. No one can do it good enough. No one can do it right. And so they get into this alienation type thing. And this is because now they're locked in their top chakras.